Hi, in this video, we will explain how to capture 360 photo using motorized turntable um, that I have here, a light box, as well as a large tripod that can hold a phone. So we'll be using phone for 360 capture. Um, the light box I'm using today is the LB80 that we have it in Glow 3D store, but that's just for lighting. You could have no light box, all matters to have a proper lighting. Turntable we're using is Glow 3D S60, but again, it doesn't have to be Glow 3D tripod. It could be literally any turntable. And for today's tutorial, any motorized turntable would work. When you're using a motorized turntable to capture a 360 photo, the first step is to see how long it will take for your turntable to get a complete 360 turn. So for that, I will be using my phone timer and um, I will turn on my turntable and I will um, mark something here, for example, and then that line uh, or any line for that matter. Plus I'll use, um, let's say this line as my marker. So as soon as it reaches here, I'm gonna press the start and I will wait for this to do a complete 360 turn. And then I will see how long it will take for my turntable to have a complete 360 turn. So for this turntable, I got the 27 and a half second to have a complete turn. And I will later on tell you where that number would go. Once you know how long it takes for your turntable to have a 360 turn, then here on the camera section, you can add the information. Here is 27 and a half. If you're using any of the Glow 3D turntables or light boxes, you could simply come here. I have a turntable, Glow 3D turntable. And for this specific turntable, which is S60, is 27.8 to be exact. But you don't have to use this turntable. Any turntable would work. Then I can select the number of frames. I want the highest quality, so I use 48 frames. It could be also 24 for a smaller file size and faster captures. So once I have everything set up, I will place this and then I'll bring it to the point so that I'm comfortable capturing. I'll bring it back enough to make sure that it shows everything here. And uh, once I made sure of that, then I press capture. Once my capture is complete, I can decide, I can just verify to make sure it is the way I like it. I can turn on loop so it actually loops in. And I can adjust to make sure the direction, if not, I can choose here and change the direction. So in this case, this direction is correct. Then I press next. Here, I could crop it to the angle that I want. For example, this is what I'm comfortable. And we are overlaying old images so you can come up with the best. You do have an option for more edits, so you can do more edits uh, such as adjustments, brightness, contrast, or you could leave that for a later time by pressing save. This will start the upload process. Once the model is created, you can view the model here. You can like it, comment. You can share it to different social platforms, including Instagram, Generate an interactive URL, save it as a GIF, generate an embed code so you can embed the model, the 360 photo in your website, or generate an MP4 video. You can also edit the model. Here you can choose a view, a thumbnail, and press set current view as thumbnail. You could assign a name, description, assign a URL so it creates a backlink to your website or to your online store. And you can add fields. For example, here I'll add material, size, and available numbers. And I can add information accordingly. You could add or modify the tags for a search engine optimization. 
You can see more information about the size of your photo. You could adjust the photo. For example, here, I increase the contrast. To remove the background. I will increase the sharpness and many other adjustments you can make. You could also adjust filter. For example, a gray filter is what I try or keep it normal. And if you would like to limit your 360 photo into a certain angle, in other words, you don't want to see it from all angles, here is your chance to do it. You can decide what is visible and what is not visible to the audience. I will turn off the loop and I will limit to view so that it only gets viewed, let's say, to a specific angle. This would be the best if you have a wall mount or an art that is not necessarily needed to be seen from all angles. Here I will cancel. You could also create albums. For example, here I create an album and call it decoration. And I decide to add my photo into two different albums that I create. As I go back to my page, as you see, I have two albums and I can see this in both albums. In edit profile, I can add or modify information, decide to make it visible or not visible to others, choose my location so our AI can connect you to people in the same city, and you can add information or modify the watermark you would like to have on your photos. You could share your page here so other people can see your gallery in 360 format. You could also embed your page in your website or any other place. Once you make your information public, people will be able to email you, call you, or simply share your page to others and help to spread the word.